So, note to self, next time we're on the astral plane, it's full of evil. Might do you a kill. I can't believe they keep that thing here. That's the thing that destroyed people, right? It destroys everything that's in there with it. That's what they were talking about? These things? They talked about... They talked about how they put it in a zoo full of stuff that look... that like... Helps... It feel like it's at home. Fucking... Stand-ups that look vaguely like the terrain from its home, that's the best they could do? So it's just throwing an endless, weird, like, non-Euclidean tantrum. Losing its goddamn mind. Yeah, that's dangerous. Don't go in there. This, is this me going? Is this me trying to go in there? I don't recommend it. Um. Do not recommend, do not recommend, do not recommend. Where do I put this? Oh boy. Let's seal it in here, let's be careful. Okay, there's some sort of objective here. It doesn't want- it wants me. It wants me. Man, I was really recommending that you don't go in here. And here you are, being in here. You just don't listen to me. Okay, you can't go that way. Good to know. I don't think it's vulnerable to basically anything. That's a problem. Oh my god, I went in a circle around here, huh? Am I supposed to lure it in here and trap it? Oop. I thought I was gonna get crushed for a second there. There we go. What Ooh. is the bureau doing with that thing? Uh studying it, probably. And getting killed by it. Someone that seems to damn it. We need backup down here. Those are honestly the two things we do is study and get killed, apparently. That's ironic. All this stuff's on fire because of the fire extinguisher. Marshall, are you still there? Shit. We're so close. We need to hurry. Maybe they got sucked into the phone line. Paris Psychology, we're here. Um, his clusters heal up then. Stop it. Who did that? Oh, uh, people in b people with bags on their heads. Ah, uh, yep. Here it comes. Sorry, buddy. That's just distress. Okay, that's that's funny though. Uh, that's just distressing. <coughs> that whole premise. Look at the way they're stored. Like it's just creepy. Where are you? 
Someone's shooting at me, but I can't. Oh, there you are. Come out, come out. Wherever you are. Magne Bride of Magneto is gonna fuck you up. Oh, shit. Ah. Ah. Damn. It's so hard to aim at this distance. Or in third person in most games in general, really. There we go. Hi, how you doing? I think I got him. Hey, it's like the Matrix. And you can just keep eating away at all sides of the pillar until it's all chewed out like that. That, that room was also brutalist. Where are you? It's consistently surprisingly hard to tell where people are even attacking me from. Oh boy. That's not a good sound. But he done sliced up this brain like it's, well, something you slice up into small pieces in a distinctly non-brain kind of way. <clears throat> Do not recommend. This killed the lobster. It was a crab, wasn't it? God damn it. like the way that Panin was looking at me. Oh. <laughs> Physics. Physics. Group think. Rethinking group think. Utilization of paranatural elements. The study extends the work of Irving Janus, Robert Barron, and others by proposing strong causal links between groupthink and the passive or active use of telepathy. To prove, to prove these connections, the parapsychology department carried out variations of Solomon Ash's original conformity experiments using a telepathic individual as the subject. See experiments for details. Extensive qualitative and quantitative data resulting from these experiments was then used to identify telepathic interference within the group. Further empirical findings suggest measures can be taken to safeguard against telepathic influence on behaviors by engaging in... B Rather boldly, this paper stands to revolutionize decade uh, decades of groupthink theory and provide new directions of further experimentation of the mind, including manipulation of... The impact of groupthink on telepathy. New mission to captive audience. The astronaut program. This report serves as an introductory guide to the astronaut program, including candidate requirements, training practices, and astral research procedures. Astronauts are chosen individuals who explore and document the astral plane by making physical contact with the X-ray light box. In the hypothesis lab, a section of 
the parapsychology division. Physical and psychological training is vital for the repeated transition between planes, known as dives. After each dive, astral knots must undergo a voop session in the cognitive recording chairs to record their experience in the plane. Gathered data has conclusively proven that rip within the astral plane vary wildly between astronauts. On rare occasions, these dives can result in losses, often occurring when teams encounter aggressive astral entities. Oof. That's that. That whole thing got a lot more threatening. The moment that came up. The X ray light box object of power. We're not too far off of it from that. We want to find all the ones we can. Anything that might help. I don't know why she interacts with with the uh, ladders so strangely, but okay. <clears throat> really strange how much he seems to glitch out on ladders or stairs in this case, I suppose, is what you'd call it. Because surely that's how they expect you to get up there, right? But like, that's this is what holding W looks like. Yeah, there's no- I don't think there's any version of climbing this that looks good. Which is weird, because they expect you to climb up there to get that, right? Huh. Very strange. Precognitive powers. <clears throat> Nadine, send this research for analysis. RE, my precognitive powers. Urgent. Dr. Darling, last night I had a dream. In the dream, I was given the solution to a staffing problem I'd been presented with just yesterday. The problem is of a confidential nature and must therefore remain unclarified here. But I can assure you that the method through which I received this helpful information was undeniably paranatural. I can only draw the conclusion that I possess exceptional precognitive abilities and as such offer my services to the Bureau's research teams. We must utilize my powers for the greater good. Signed, Mr. Francis Bertram. I wonder if it's something fraudulent about that. There could always be like people that are like, oh man, <gasps> I had a vision. <gasps> I'm special. And then they're like ready to like elect themselves as being some great asset to the team because like, it's like, it's my destiny. But they could either be lying about their own capabilities or latching on to a, what is essentially like a coincidence as being evidence of their precognis. Because once you see that this kind of crazy is possible, the moment something kind of crazy happens to you, you might see it as evidence that you're the chosen one because everyone wants to be special. But you also might be like a... a fun, like... A hotline psychic, the kind of person that just kind of pretends to have powers for the sake of personal gain and furtherance of their own career. Recording chair procedures. Before using the recording devices, please ensure the following safety measures are met. Ensure the volunteer is securely fastened in their chair. Ensure the hood is placed over the volunteer's head. This will prevent the volunteer from taking in visual stimuli during the recording process, which can lower the quality of the captured footage. This also prevents recording technicians from viewing the volunteer's face, which undergoes muscle spasms during recording that some consider upsetting. Oh. Oh, goodness me. Check if the volunteer is comfortable. Activate the recording apparatus. After recording is complete, check volunteer cognitive ability using provided questionnaire. Reminder, do not be alarmed if the length of recorded footage exceeds the volunteer's period of unconsciousness. Astral dilation is a known issue. If any problems arise during this process, contact your supervisor. So the, now we have context for that. These people in these chairs were recording. Oh, look at this. Can I make it spin? Yay! These hang down from the creepy alien probe ceiling spots. And they were probe they were recording their minds as they went to the astral plane. And then taking any data they could to rip back out and 
study upstairs. I, I, I said that they had upsetting ma muscle spasms that some would find upsetting. One might also worry, what if they are in actual agony? And maybe they forget afterwards. That'd be the worst. If there is something that happens in your life where you're in just suffering, but then you forget immediately afterwards. And so you just keep going back into the same pattern. What? Green health bars, they're, they seem friendly. Oh. Find a way into the room to bind the x-ray light box. So I guess I must be immune to this too, because that seems to be a thing. Being immune to things that everyone else gets killed or controlled by seems to be my power. <clears throat> Along with teleportation and other stuff. <clears throat> but uh, I can't help but notice that they're not wearing those harnesses. I think they're all going to turn aggressive the moment I do anything about it, but I don't, you know, I don't want to just randomly shoot people. If I can avoid it, but I'm not sure if I can. I'll wait for them to go aggressive. An MRI, right? So there's four. I, 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 there was a puzzle to finish to fill it up, but as far as I can tell, you can never fill the internal square. So each has four states: empty, line, half, and then full. So I need to have context for what my what I'm trying to input, I suppose. Maybe if I remember a document from that previous room where I was looking at these things. Look at it go! Oh wow, it's all off center and wobbling around and like the the cent the rotational access points kind of wandering around and fucky but still that's great that's really that's great that the freaking thing yeah, the the physics is trying so hard and it's all falling apart but the fact that that spins is a surprise boop i bet there's an achievement for doing all those or something there usually is I think I need to find a document indicating ah that might be it there we go but it was right there What could go wrong? Basically everything. Ammo refund. It says unlock, but what actually unlocked? Can I get inside here? Oh, here we go. Please state your name for the record. All Warren, Astral Mark, First Class. And you are aware that exposure to the astral plane can result in death, disability, personal injury, corporeal entangling, cognitive collapse, loss of ego, and partial to full dementia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. And you acknowledge that your use of the astral conduit, aka the X-ray light box, is purely voluntary? Yes, I do. Perfect. Your suit is good? Yeah. Okay, you're all set. 
Open the door for Mr. Warren, please. Be sure to put the bag over his head so no one can notice that he is in agony. It's a very important step about the process. Use C's to complete the Astral Plane Challenge. Am I gonna get a mind control? That could be fun if I get mind control. Golden copy and NPC variation. Is it a copy of me? No, it's that guy. Gold enemies are immune to Jesse's attacks. Find another way to defeat the enemy. Okay. Yep. You're also mean to that. I'm back in the place where the bad happens. There's the there's the pyramid that's always here. Wow. I just threw the shit out of this stuff. He does attack. He hadn't attacked yet, so I wasn't sure. How do I use C's? That means that low health can be seized. But I, I can't hurt him, right? Isn't that what we just said? Oh, hi. Seize him. It is, it is a mind control. Neat. Can I mind control more than one of them at the same time? Hard to say. I think the I think the previous one just died. Oopsie. Heal me. Ow. Man, health. Keep keep keep, keep keeping good good. God damn. Staying in control of your health is hard in this game because it just goes down so fast and goes up so slowly. Like it takes a billion little pips to heal and you can go down like two hits. <laughs> it's severe. You can see why it relies so heavily on my instant kill uh, mind control thing. Because the moment I'm not allowed to do that stuff, it's like, Jesus Christ, how do I do this? So is the idea that I have to aggro him in order to, for the guys to start showing up? Because they weren't showing up before. Ah! Ah! God damn, I have no health already. Like, what the fuck, man? There's like no warning of where the flankers are going to come from. They just show up. Ah, dang it. Fuck him up, gold boy. Okay, so yeah, it looks like I can have two golds. Yep. That guy's like, oh, there, there you go. I just got a really important upgrade. God damn. I can have a mind control army? This is the thing I have now. Neat. All I have to do is actually not kill them, which is admittedly can be hard to do. <laughs> Three ability points received. Yes. Nice. Now this was a worthwhile detour. My brains were fried when I took over the object. Huh. I didn't have to fight them. Weird how she instantly knew that though, that their brains were fried. 
She didn't even check one of them. There, no, I instantly understand everything about the situation that I've never been in before. Oh, they're all healed. All these pillows are healed up. Just rip that chunk out of the wall. Yeah. I loved you and don't hug me, I'm scared. My favorite part was the anxiety. Man, her charge is damaging. It just destroys things around her. Whoa, those posters were behind the corkboard, apparently. Huh. All right, ability points. I have ability points. Like even more damage. <laughs> launch, launch basic enemies when their health is low. I don't want that anymore though. I've got dominate. Increased duration of seas. Oh, it has a duration. Kind of expect them to just die. Is that crazy of me? I kind of think they're just gonna die first. I'd rather get 20% health than 5% seas duration. Uh, but the next one's probably longer. Let's 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 start it off. Yeah, five then ten percent. Additional personal mod slot. Yes. Yeah. So it's it snowballs, and like usual, the second upgrade is significantly bigger than the first upgrade, making it way more worth it. Personal mods. That's what I meant to click on. So this one is 21% health. Reduced evade cost. Reduced launch cost. Bonus energy in general. Or just even more health. <laughs> I can just do that, right? Or health recovery and element pickup. I do feel like anything that helps me heal is kind of a priority. Because I can, I can wait one more second to throw something at people. But trying to figure out how to keep my health up is kind of its own struggle. I've completed this. I gotta go collect my reward. Reload efficiency. You Okay, kill enemies with headshots five times. Super easy. Gotcha. Only can get three at a time. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. There, yeah. 10% reload speed, damage while low on health, I'd prefer not to. 10% <laughs> chance to refund your ammo, I guess. Hmm. No, I'll take the damage boost. Seems kind of important to me. Being able to deal actual damage. Call me crazy. He called me crazy. 